was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. What started in a hospital? What's the mystery here? What are we doing? Oh my god! You trying to make my ears bleed? Looks like they already are. Answer phone. Seems logical. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is gonna be okay now. Come and see. Uh, who the hell is this? Sal, come and find me. Uh, where? Weird. Sounded like my dad. Eh, well, probably was. That's the biggest fucking stretcher I've ever seen in my life. Or I'm just small. I used the force. Looks like there's something down there, but it's too dark to see. Of course it is. Let's turn on the light, shall we? Oh, look, a doggy. Light switch. Ow! You needed the light to see that fucking key right in front of you? A key! Um, why are there multiple doors? I'm sensing a pattern here. D? P? Nope, not gonna work. Okay, D? This one? Yep. D-O. Oh. Dog. Okay. Because of the picture on the wall. Clever. Quite clever. Oh, great. Now it's raining. Why is everybody immensely taller than I am? I know I'm a child, but damn, I'm small. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Uh, huh? Go see for yourself. Oh, you can talk? Wait, come back. I have so many questions. Why do dogs eat shit? Diane Fisher, 1948 to 1984. Wow, that number flipped. Mother and wife. All right, so who is this, my mother? Probably, probably. Why am I in here? I mean, why? I mean, I know why, but why? Battery's not included. It's locked. Eh, well, story of my life. There's a code, okay. I don't know what the fucking code is. Um, I guess there wasn't one. <laughs> This place doesn't have much security. Oh, hello. Dad? Oh, you're my dad? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. We both have blue hair. You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. I'm a murderer? That would explain the bloody face. Someone probably cut my ass off while I was trying to cut them. This is your fault. Oh, shit. What is this, the mortuary assistant? I really don't want to go back there. Okay, who's over here? Ooh, can I touch your toes? Mom? Are you... Are you dead? Yeah, probably. She had her own grave and everything. I'm, I'm assuming that's her grave. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my god, you're so ugly. You need to pretty yourself up a little bit, Mom. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yeah, an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? Heh, <laughs> heh, this guy. The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in, and I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Just, just look at it. That's profiling, I'm sorry. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. That's also profiling. This game is profiling. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us. Now, what the fuck happened? Come on, what's the mystery? Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Okay, what is this, Coraline? I even have blue hair. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Yeah, that you know of. I wonder if he brought back any drugs. I need it. Oh, hang on, hang on. I don't want to leave yet. I want to look around a little bit more. Oh, there's a room. oh, wow, that's a big cat. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Yeah, no kidding. Lazy cat. That's the kind of cat I want right there. Just lazy and fat. Doesn't do anything. Move, TV. Oh, wow. It actually moved. Gear Boy. I was wondering where that was. Get over here. Good thing I looked in that area. Uh, Dad's room. You keep it, the drugs in the mattress, don't you? Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? It may not seem as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Uh-huh. 
try not to get into too much trouble. I'll try not to. I'll try not to slap people with my pigtails. Alright, let's go. Let's leave. Nothing else in there. 401. Knock. No one's home. What? Why? It's the middle of the day. It's not like people have jobs or anything. Who the hell is this? Hello. Dot dot dot. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Hey, fuck you, man. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. I'll show you some respect when you earn it. What happened to that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid, grumble grumble. Alright, let's take the elevator since this asshole's in the way. Alright, there's five floors. Wh which floor am I on? Oh, I'm on four floor. Okay, let's go here. Notice, this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Locked. Of course it is. Okay, let's see what's in here. Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the fuck are you? Why are you here? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello? Sir, you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. The building. Horrible things happen. There are terrible demons. Ouch. <laughs> I just had to. Are you sure you're okay? Whoa, what the hell? Hey, where'd you go? What the... Get back here. Where'd you go? You just sink into the papers? I bet you anything he used those to wipe his ass. Where is God now? Uh, in heaven, I guess. Alright. Let's take a look at the bathroom. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Of course it is. Alright, let's leave there. That was freaky. I have no idea who that guy was. Probably a rapist. Locked. Locked. Wow. This floor is absolutely pointless. Well, I mean, it wasn't completely pointless. I triggered a cutscene. Okay, three. Uh, 302. No one's home. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh my. Sorry, you just started me a little... Uh, yeah, no shit. You must be the one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So, if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. You know, God bless the people who do this kind of work. Without y'all, the, the world wouldn't turn. Okay, I guess I can't go through here. Who's that on the other side? I want to see who it is. Whoever it is, he must be fat and stupid. Three, two. Yeah, who's there? Oh, someone's here. Hello, I'm in the new building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Alright, come in. Hi, and I'm in- Oh my fucking- SO UGLY! Hi, and my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is on your face, child? I was young once myself, I get it. When was that? Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. Uh, does that include mustard on your shirt? These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? You know, I take that back. That's probably piss. Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have a full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What the hell's a glitter pony? My god, child, have you never seen my Glitter Pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. Sounds like a My Little Pony ripoff. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could ever want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies don't even get me started. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look at it on TV. Yes, you will, trust me, you won't regret it. So, yep, I know, you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got here. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Kind of freaky. 
Hmm. All right, which floor am I on? Two? All right. Let's go to one, then. Administration. Or, I'm sorry, Addison. I don't know why I said administration. Oh, dear. What a frightful... Uh, pardon me. Let's start over. Yeah, I know. It's the mask. Hello, young sir. You resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Uh, can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you can understand. Sure. You probably have a small winky. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. Oh, who are you, Samuel Jackson? What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way from now on, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Alright, bye. So long. God, what a rude-ass son of a bitch. No one's home. Alright, who's here? Oh my fucking- SO UGLY! Yeah, what do you want? I'm a, it's a little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? I mean, if you're offering candy. Err. Stupid good-for-nothing kids, grumble grumble. Why does everybody grumble around here? Alright, now what the hell do I do? I, I guess I just visit all the floors again. Maybe if I talk to her? Hey Sal, what's up? How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here, I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Wow. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain about a lot of small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. There's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Wow, you're a positive person, aren't you? All right, let's change the subject. <laughs> so, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who the hell's Mr. Sanderson? Oh, miss, sorry. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should get, go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name's Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I got a few extras. Uh, cool. Thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Well, aren't you a kind woman who takes their time out of their day to talk to a weird person like me? See ya. See you around. You know what? I like her. All right, uh, let's go to the basement. She gave us the key. Might as well. Uh, Larry, Lisa's son, where you at? Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. <sighs> so much walking. Vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. I'm always hungry. I've developed kind of a abnormal eating habit, actually. Oh, apparently there is something over here. Holy shit. What the hell was that? It had my eyes. Bathroom. All right, let's check the bathroom. Jesus. What the hell is with this sketchy lighting? I guess they like that kind of lighting in there while they're taking shits. Keep out. Nah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Doors open. Whoa, nice mask. Yeah, I know, right? I'm handsome. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So, once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned up to the name, then the asshole couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. 
Ah, that's what your mom said too. Mother knows best. Man, you and your mom are cool. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats, but I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free from the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. Ah, it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I fucking love metal. I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. Alright, let's have a listen. Ooh. Metal boner activated. <laughs> yes! I will slap myself with my own pigtails because I love this beat. Uh, okay, so what happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer's still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. Ew. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man, just peeking through the crack at the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anybody yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Uh, you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Harumph! Alright, let's change the subject. What's up with the guys in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just really strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. Huh. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. What's this thing? That's, uh, it's the police scanner. I could listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day, but hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we could find some kind of evidence to show that detectives something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for a break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. I've been wanting to peek in that room anyway. Not really. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we gotta make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I could give you a heads up, too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbing with armed robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore, make it a little more believable. Huh, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to the room and let me know when you're ready. Alright then, let's go upstairs. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. It's been a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go and see if you can get into 403 now. We just met and we're already doing things together. We're gonna be the best of friends, aren't we? Okay, is the stupid cop gone? Yes, he is. God, he's a dumbass. Holy mother. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Ugh. Man, this place is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Okay, there's these little figures. Looks like there's one missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how I could get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. What's up, Larry? What you got for me? Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day when she was fixing her toilet. Or I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. 
That dude always gives me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Hey, yeah, no shit. He's fat and weird. Uh, wow. Okay, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck it in a 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Eh, nah, I just watch too much TV. I know, they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I can't grab him while he's sitting right there. Okay, well, there was something about tea. So, maybe let's go check that out next. Maybe if I give the tea to the fat ass, something will happen. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Add us a tea, please, and thank you. Yes, coming right up. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Holy shit. Okay, I've never seen anybody drink tea like that. Ah, so tasty. So relaxing. Okay. Ah, I must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. Say, if you get any time, more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. Maybe I could drug him somehow? Sleep aid. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Hmm, this may come in handy once I have something to mix it with. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Yeah, I will. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. <laughs> yeah. Got another cup from Addison. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today. As surprising as that sounds. Hey, yeah, no, you're gonna drink it. Really? But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I've probably had at least 20 cups today. Are you positive? This is, um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I already had three cups, and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh my god, what a dumbass. Yeah, that's right, suck a luck on it. Ugh, this is better than the original. I don't know how he... Okay, now stay asleep. Thank you. Got the toy. Score! Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal, I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to that detective, and it'll all be over. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do, but unless you got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. Got evidence? Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How'd you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed that with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, yeah, sir, you got it. Nice. Got his bald ass out of the way. I guess I could leave now? Uh, oh, okay, you teleported out here. Cool. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Oh, got his fat ass incarcerated. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. I would never be friends with you, you mustard-stained bastard. No one was around, so I looked into the back of the window of the van. Holy shit. Man, whoever did it murdered the shit out of that lady. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, and already you had witnessed that two gruesome scenes. It must have been very dramatic for you. Eh, eh, sure, I guess. In all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yeah, so you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school... We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just 
don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're absolutely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Good. Tired of looking at your Commissioner Gordon face. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Duh. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. So, I hope you'll let me help you. Click, click, clack, clack. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. Aw. You might be the only one. Cold stare. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, B